Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Morris Imba. So if you take a look on the screen here, a quick a quick one, I want just to show you a quicker way on how you can use Tecla Structures connection to customize your own connection and improve it. Now I'll come to steel here and pick on steel column and snap that right there. So I have my steel column in place. I'll come to beam, beam here, and maybe pick this beam here. I'll select on this beam, right click and come to copy. And I want to pick it from this position there. So I want to take it all the way to any point here. So you can reduce the height of this particular column. I'll place it somewhere there and give it some offset, some bit of offset to the bottom end. I'll come to move special and pick linear and move it down by a meter by end entering this negative 1000 or, or one meter because you are moving against the Z axis. I'll go ahead and click move and right click and come to interrupt. Now I want to create a connection here by using the Tecla Structures connections. So I'm going to type in here end, end plates. So I'm going to pick this particular connection and I want to connect that to that. So I have this connection in place, but it is Tecla Structures connection. So I want to use this setting and to customize and and, mod and improve it, though we'll not improve it so much. But I want just to show you instead of creating the plate and the, you know, moving all those circles, I want just to show you how you can use the uh, Tecla Structures uh, connection type and improve and make it your own. Now, I'll come here and select on the connection once I've created this, right click and come to explode. We want to explode. This will be under our control. We'll be able to customize it the way you want it to be. Now, what you can do, you come to advanced features here and pick on a custom component. So this one will name it end plate, end plate two and click OK. So the moment you click OK, you select every, all the component, all the components that will form part of this particular connection. Go ahead and click Next. So pick the main part. And remember, when creating this connection, you have to follow this process. You click the main part, then second, then secondary part to create that, that connection. So we'll pick on the main part, which is this one, then click Next. We'll click the secondary part, which is this. Then we finish. So once you finish, the moment you finish, you'll be able to see. Uh, a component has been created here, but it's, it doesn't look nice. It, it, you can't really see it. You, you can't really describe whatever it does until you give it an image. So to give it an image, you take, you take a screenshot of this. I, show you, I, I showed you previously how to take a screenshot of that. You come all the way to view and come to screenshot and take a screenshot of that and create a connection. So that's how you can handle that. So let's switch back to this position here where we are. So we want to uh, customize this, uh, cu customize this particular connection using uh, formulas and variables. And how do you do that? You select on the con or connection itself, right click and come to edit. You want to edit this particular custom connect custom component. Select on it. So the moment you select on it, you'll be able to you'll, you'll be able to see only this particular component on the screen. The rest will be assumed that they don't exist, though they, they exist under under the scene. Now I'll right click and edit that rotation command. So in our window, we have the custom component browser. And also what we need is uh, the custom the custom component variable. So this is, we, we, this is the dialog box we'll be using to control our our connection, our custom connection. So let's drag that to that particular spot and drag that. And prior to move in now, the next step is we want to bind. We want to bind first of all the components that will be creating the connection. So if I select on this, if I select on this, you'll be able to see here under component browser, you'll be able to see under component, this is a fitting, and this is a fitting between the plate and the beam. So the moment I select on it, you can be able to see. So this fitting, I want to bind this fit, these two, the, the, the plate and the beam together. I want to bind it to the plate. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this fitting, then right click and come to bind to plane. I'm going to bind it on the plate plane. I'm going to select on that. So 
Let's take a look what's going to happen. The moment I bind this on the plate here, you'll be able to see that variable is being shown here. Now I'll drag it aside so that I'll be able to see whatever I'm trying to do. I'm going to the net to, to the far end, to the top end of the plate, we have a point, and the bottom end of, of the plate, we have a point that we also need to bind to the column. So I'm going to select on this plate. And the moment I select on this plate, these two points will be active. And please note, this point will be seen clearly if you disable this. This is uh, if you if you switch off this uh, uh, switch. So make sure it is not active. The one I'm pointing the screen here. So I'll, I'll zoom close and select on this point here. Select on it to make sure it, it's active. Then right click and come to bind to plane. I want to bind it on this plane on the on the main part on the main part. I'll bind it there. So the moment I bind it there, you'll be able to see. Uh, is a D2 and 8 millimeter. 8 millimeter is the thickness of this plate. Now I'm going to the next point. I'm going to select on this end plate and select on this plate. On this point, right, uh, I'll left click there, then right click and come to bind to plane. I'm going to bind it to the same same main part. Then right click and get off that command by clicking interrupt and I get off out of that. So you'll you'll be able to see that we have. Some, some variables here. So if I come here and enter maybe 20, you can see it's moving in that direction, but not properly, not in a better way. So I'll, I'll retain it at, at eight. So I'm going to add another, another, another parameter. I'm going to add that, that will be controlling the two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to equate all these to B1. So I'm going to equal, place an equal sign. Then this, I'll say, will be equal, equal to P1. Then this one also will be equal to P1. That's it. So whenever I enter a clearance between the main part and the, and the end plate, you'll see a plate clearance maybe of 20 millimeter. If I enter that, you'll be able to see there is a change here. There is a change there. So that's how you can handle that. So I'm going to uh, proceed and add a, another formula. So I'm going to add another uh, other parameters that will be controlling this custom component connection. So I'm going to add par uh, parameter one, two, this will be, this is our plate clearance. I'm, and we have, I'm going to add a plate thickness and a plate width, and I'm going to add the profile itself. And I'm going to sell, sell, start from the from that bottom end. I want to describe this as a profile, plate profile, plate profile, profile, and just feed in that, plate profile, and I'll go here, and feed in a plate. And under plate profile, I'm going to do, change the value type to a profile. I'm going to give it a value type of a, pro, of, a, of a profile. And remember, note that our plate width will be 160 right there. That is uh, 160. And if you come here, we're going to add, we're going to change this to plate width. Let's change that to plate width, plate width. Then we go to plate thickness, plate thickness. Perfect, now we are going to hide that. Now we want to feed in a formula here that will be controlling the plate thickness, the plate width. Now. I want to feed in here formula from the equal sign. Then column there, a bracket there, then feed in a PLT. A PLT is, the, is this plate, this end plate, and the our end plate thickness is 8 millimeter and the width is 160 millimeter. So I'm going to feed in a PLT, then a plus sign, I'm going to feed in here. 
I'm going to feed in here an integer. An integer of an integer of p2 of p2 integer of p2 and close that plus into brackets into brackets no little brackets a multiple sign right there not really right but we'll change that to a different one plus i mean times into into to column there and plus integer integer of p3 integer of p3 into bracket that so we'll enter that and still no twerking and what you see here this should reflect here i mean if i change this this measurement should reflect on this particular section so that's how you can control that so we'll add another 